I've never liked my hair. I've never liked my boobs. I've never liked my butt. Yeah, I've never liked my butt too. My legs. <laughs> my toes sometimes. My eyes. And my nose is just not sharp enough. Mine too. And you've seen the ladies in the magazines, the music videos, they look stunning. Like no cellulite, no stretch marks, skinny tummy, like small waves. Perfect noses. Girl. You know, when I was a little girl, one of my aunts actually told me that I was ugly. And then my sister was a Cinderella and I was the stepsister. When every child's dream was to become Cinderella. <laughs> and for a child that was already socially awkward, socially awkward, like I was, <laughs> that took me straight below. And every time I think of her, I still have that bitter taste in my mouth. Because for a child, you programmed to believe anything an adult tells you. So when puberty hit, <laughs> it hit really hard. It hit really, really hard. I got stretch marks for someone who had a very tiny frame like myself. People thought it was weird. They're like, were you ever fat? I mean, how come you have stretch marks but you're so skinny, so active? I participated in netball, in athletics, and I just didn't understand, you know, and it just makes it worse when the people around you, your community, the elders, the people that are supposed to guide you, are the ones that tell you that you should be ashamed of your body, that this is not something natural. So you grow up thinking, okay, maybe there's something wrong with me, maybe um, maybe I should hide, maybe I'm not meant for certain things in life because why me? Because so many people don't have it and people don't understand. So you grow up thinking that you'll never live up to certain standards in everything that has always been your dream. You sort of put it on the side because like, but I can't do this because this is hindering me. So this petition, petition that we're running, campaign is for every little girl to know that you are not, your worth, your self worth is not based on what you look like, what your body looks like. It's based on what you can bring to the table. You are worth so much more than just what you look like, and you only have this one body. You know, and if people already criticize you on something that you have no control over, it makes you feel little, yes it does, it really really does, but there is so much that you can do, there's nothing that you are that was a mistake, nothing is a mistake, you were created to be unique, to look different, so you need to stop comparing yourself because you are not the next person, you are you and you are special. And I am here to say that I am that girl. I am that girl that will make a difference. I am that girl that's making a difference. And I am her. And I am beautiful. And you are beautiful. I think my story started when I was growing up. And I grew up. And I somehow felt like I was being compared to my sister. My older sister was very like a yellow ball and a pointy nose and she was tall, a nice body. That I didn't know that I had a nice body. I never felt like I was a pretty girl or, you know, and primary school didn't make it any easier either because I was in a group where I was the outcast, I was the nerd, where I didn't see that I was beautiful or people wouldn't tell me that I was beautiful and I would be pointed out as the ugly girl. And when high school came, and all of these boys kept giving me attention. It was very really confusing. So I never really had time to just make sense of whatever was going on around me and make sense of why everyone wants my number, why everybody wants this, because I am the ugly girl. That's how I always saw it, because that's how the environment was. I always felt like I had a big stomach because 
just once in my life my mother mentioned it and people would say what, what, but what are you talking about I think it's because when someone who gave birth to you mentioned something and growing up I was told you know Nishwapa that's yeah, most black people, that's how it is. They point out all of the wrong things that you have if you're fat. If you don't have a butt, you're in the strap. And it doesn't really, it, it affects you when you're alone. But when everybody says it, it's, it becomes a normal thing. So I've always struggled with my body image, my skin tone. You know, because in summer it gets very dark and we always wear these hats and sunglasses just to keep the sun out of our faces because we don't want to become darker than what we are. You know, so I had high school and then after high school it was college, yay, nice, whatever. And then came a time where I had a child. You know, when I had a baby, it, it, it became something else because here I was starting to appreciate my body and I had these terrible stretch marks and at one point in my life I remember I was in the dressing room um, buying clothes and I was buying this high waist it's, oh I was buying a top and it's, it's, it was a crop top and this lady in the room said and I said oh I'm worried with a high waist skirt but then I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it because what if the skirt slips down and the lady's like what do you mean and I showed her I, I turned up I, I just lowered my skirt a bit and I said hey look look at this and then she said I will so guess number one like we all have kids so I was not the only one going through that and I hope with this video people can really see that you are not the only one going through this giving birth to a child is a beautiful thing and hey we have stretch marks you know, one time I was with my boyfriend and he said, what is this? Like, when they, the first time he saw them, he was like, so this is what you've been complaining about. So he saw it as just, because we think men see music video chicks when they look at us. I don't, that's not the case. But like, is this the thing that you're complaining about? Like, really? And I felt so stupid because this whole time I thought, wow, this is such a big deal. And it's really not a big deal. I have big thighs. I have skinny legs. What? So does Nicki Minaj. She also has skinny legs and big thighs. So, yeah, I just hope with this video we can really change how people look at us. Because I remember at the time when, when my, the father of my child left me, and I looked at him and I said, I looked at him and I said, so who's going to want me now? Like, this is the body I have now, so who's going to want me now? Not realizing that this is a beautiful body and I have this and this is the only body I have. I'm not going to get another body. This is the only body I have.